Hello everybody, it's me, Andrew, and this is going to be your weekly reading for October 19th through the, give me a second, because I don't know what that's going to be, the 19th through the 25th, okay, 19th through the 25th. I am using the Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed um, this has been an amazing deck, I really, really really like i love this deck um now i will like disclaimer you know with with her decks i like to be able to give the most i have to get a general meaning of the card and then kind of shape all the cards together with my intuition so with these cards what i like to do is i like to look at the oracle meaning of the card in the guidebook so i, I have already drawn these cards and i looked at the oracle meaning and i'm going to kind of lace it together or stitch it together as we go because I love her cards so much and I want to give you the most out of this reading. And I also have some cool little trinkets and cool little cool things that I got um, that I want to share with you guys at the end of this video. So, lots to do. So from Monday and Tuesday, we have all the glitters. And what this card is saying is that Monday and Tuesday, shift your focus from the superficial, shift your focus from the... Um, the, the, the glints and the glamour and all that kind of stuff and really focus on the spiritual side of things. Focus on that part of yourself that you can't adorn with trinkets as the, the guidebook puts it and I like that. Um, you know, we, we're often so quick to be like, oh my gosh, you know, I like this or I like this or I like this or I want to look my best for everybody else and I want to like, we're so, cause we're so concerned with what other people think. What this card is saying is to get rid of that at the beginning of this week and really focus on the inner self, focus on the higher self, focus on the practices that are going to help you actually become a better person and not just enhance what other people think about you. So, taking this, we go into number eight. That's interesting. This is card number 16, so eight and eight. And this is card number eight. So that's kind of cool. So these cards go together pretty well. Um, I just, I noticed that. So we have the tribe and we have the giraffes. Oh, I love giraffes. Um, and this card is saying to find that those people and, you know, if it's not your blood relatives, maybe your, your relatives, your spiritual kindred, your spiritual kin to really embrace them and that there's going to be a sense of community and there is a sense of community waiting for you um within the spiritual community and there's and within the spiritual like whole realm of like consciousness that we all share that there's a lot that we can accomplish and there's a lot that we can do and this is saying that you belong to this tribe or whatever tribe that you feel you know, if you don't have, if your family doesn't support you, then you have, know that you have people that do. So in the middle of the week is going to really bring about this feeling of, like, I have people that care about me and all this kind of stuff. And all the, the wonderful, lovey, dovey, warm fuzzies, you know, and that's true. You know, you have people that love you and you have people that love you enough to tell you like it is. So within our, oh, that's so cool. I didn't even notice this. So right here, it's a face. So this says hotel, the sign, this little sign. I don't know if you can see it, probably not. But it says hotel. So other people are going to provide a source of comfort and protection in the middle of the week. So that's really going to help you be able to, to kind of grow and to help you be able to become all that you want to be and to help you shift that focus from the material to the spiritual with the people in your life. So we have a really good week coming up so far. Card number 43. This is the weekend card. This is deep knowing. Trust your intuition. So what they're saying is, let me just get these other cards going. So what they're saying is, once you shift your focus from what is trivial and material to the, what is spiritual. And once you embrace those people in your life that you need and the people that are going to help you become the best version of you, your intuition is going to spike. 
You're going to be able to trust what you feel, what you see, what you get clairvoyantly, clairaudiently, claircognizantly. I don't know if that's how, whatever. But, so yeah, and just trust your intuition. You know, I love that this is like a full moon and there's an owl right there. So trusting your inner wisdom. And it's really going to take a, they're telling me to meditate. They're telling me to tell you and myself to meditate. To not not worry so much about um, what you have to do. Well, not, not saying not to worry about the physical world, but to put a lot of focus on the spiritual world. And then stuff in the material world will get done as well. But you have to start taking care of yourself before you can help take care of other people or, you know, that kind of stuff. So, trust your intuition. Meditate, you know, anything that you do that you feel is really relaxing and it helps you get in touch with the divine is what you need to do at the end of the week. And I did draw one other card. Here and now. Card number 32. And I was actually, sorry, I was looking at the back of this. And it actually says, ask and know. Like, there's a there's words around, and it says, ask and know. So, I thought that was kind of cool. What this card is saying is to be present in the moment. Don't put yourself into the future. Don't worry about the future. Don't be like, oh my god, the future is just, oh my gosh, it's just so bad. What am I going to do tomorrow or next week or next year? You know, don't worry about that. Calm down. Put yourself in the here and now. Keep yourself in the here and now. And that is going to really help you be able to center yourself. That is what this particular card is saying as a theme for the whole week. This isn't an addition. This is a theme. So if these three cards are here, this card is up here. Keep yourself centered. Don't worry. Don't fret. P worrying is like praying for what you don't want. So keep yourself centered and keep yourself in the present moment and everything will work out the way that it is supposed to. And just have faith and realize that there are people that have been put in your path to help you. So that was your reading for the uh, 19th through the 25th. And now I'm going to show you some of the cool little things I have. So I went to one of my favorite stores um, in downtown Raleigh. It's called the Holy Rose. And um, so if you see something that you like here, they actually ship. So you can go to the Holy Rose. You can search Holy Rose Raleigh. And I'll probably put the, I'll put the link to their website in the description. But I know the owners. They're amazing. And I went by to, you know, say bye and to pick up some, a few little knickknacks. And um, I did. And that was just amazing. I'm going to miss them so much. But um, so this is a Archangel Haniel candle. And Karen... John and Karen own it, and Karen actually made these candles. So, um, and I don't know if, um, if you've just tuned into my YouTube channel, Archangel Haniel is an angel that I um, I meditate with a lot, especially before a reading. I always um, bring Archangel Haniel in, and she included the moonstone, which is Haniel's stone. Um, and I saw this candle, and I couldn't pass it up. Like, I was just like, I can't believe that. I found this, and so I'm super excited. I love this so much. And where is my little crystal? There it is. And I also got some aragonite. And this little stone helps boost the energy of your prayers and also helps your self-worth and self-confidence. So I was like, I love it. Isn't it kind of cool? It's just like, it really it drew me instantly, and I was like, oh, got to have it. So I also got a little shell for um, sage, and I got some white sage for the new apartment. And John and Karen were super awesome, and so I want to say, say a huge thank you to John and Karen. If you're watching this, you have no idea, like, the effect that you've had on my life, and, you know, you've, you guys have just been so amazing, and I just, I love you guys so much. So, um, as kind of like, for the new home... Um, they gave me a house a house blessing candle and some citrine and it, it's so pretty it's so pretty like it's just amazing like I, I mean I just love this put that right there and so yeah this cute little candle and 
Oh, I didn't even know it was House Blessing until I actually got home and opened it and looked at it. So that's super awesome. Thank you guys so much. So they didn't pay me to say this, and I'm not on the payroll or anything. But if you are looking for, like, legit stuff, like, and you don't want to have to go through Amazon or any, like, really shady websites, uh, I'll put their link below. Um, they ship, I guess, all over the place. And they're just amazing people. So I'm going to be, since I'm going to be like four hours away, I'm going to be definitely having them ship stuff <laughs> to me. But yeah, so this is, this is my, this is my pride and joy right here though. This is amazing. Like I love, I love this. Like it's, oh my God. And it's glitter. So, but yeah, so I am super just blown away by this. And I just, I was like, I can't even not walk out of here without it. But so yeah, that's my little witchy haul. Um, no, I'm not a witch, but I like to call it that because I have lots of cool stuff. And so yeah, um, I hope that you guys like this video. And you know, if you would like a reading with me, you can check out my website below at www.tarotangel444.com. And you can check me out at, um, on Instagram at tarotangel444 and on Facebook um, at facebook.com forward slash Andrews Angel Cards. I'm there all the time. So I will be seeing you guys in my next video. And I'll probably, the next video after this will probably be the Thelema Tarot reveal. And then um, I'll be um, pre-recording another uh, weekly reading for you guys because I'm going to be moving. And this is actually the week, this video is actually the week that I'm I'm moving. I'm moving on the 22nd. So on the 22nd, if you want to send me positive thoughts and love and high vibration, I'll take it because I need it. <laughs> I'm going to be stressed out so much. But um, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys later. And as always, thank you for all of your love and support. It truly means the world to me. And I will see you later. Angel blessings.